<clears throat> Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy. Um, <clears throat> again, I look at this as a red alert because the church is to stay on alert and we are to sound the alarm as the Lord God leads us in our spirit to sound the alarm. That is written in scripture, okay? Uh, we're to be wise like the virgins filled with plenty of oil for their lamps. Well, what is plenty of oil for your lamp? Uh, the oil and the wine uh, represent the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit, being moved by the Holy Spirit. But also, I do believe that it's the reading of His Word, staying in prayer, staying repentive, staying close to Him. Uh, some may not be as full of the oil in your lamps as others, but at least you have oil in your lamps and you're not empty. That's the key right there. You're not empty. There's a lot that are empty and those are the lukewarm those are the cold uh, they're out of oil because they haven't been filling it up they're not prophetic so if you are prophetic and watching this video your lamp is full of oil don't let the devil confuse you and make you think that you're not going in this rapture that is a devil's lie as long as you are being repentive as long as you're in the word um, as long as you're reading and you're studying and you're praying and you're spending time with him and you're humble and um, you follow the ways that he has showed you to live, which are the fruits of the Spirit. So examine the fruits of the Spirit and see, are those present in you? Work on the fruits of the Spirit that you're weak in and um, build back up those fruits of the Spirit that you're not as strong in and for those of you that are baby christians on this channel or you're a sinner you're not saved yet uh all these things won't work for you not unless you get saved first then the lord god can move in you but if you're wanting to do a bible study on the fruits of the spirit go back to the back of any bible and look for the words fruit of the spirit and it will teach take you to a Bible address so you can study the fruits of the Spirit. If I get time, I will work on that. But if things get moving today, now this is what I, I am getting in my spirit. Let me read the scripture. Exodus 10 verse 21 uh, the statement of that's made above verse 21 says darkness over the land. We know that the Lord had Moses to raise up his hand and the darkness of the three days of darkness commenced forth as Moses rose his hand. So we know as he rose his hand, it was already daylight because why would God have him do it in the middle of the night? It's already dark. People won't have the fear of God upon them as much as if it happened during the day. Because you have to remember, he had already been talking to Pharaoh, and Pharaoh was still hardened in his heart, and he wouldn't listen. So God used these last two plagues to really set the stage for the children of uh, a God to be moved out of Egypt for the great exodus, which is going to be our rapture, okay, but also the Lord God wanted to move in the children of Egypt that they might know that the children of Israel serve the real God. Okay, so let me read uh, Exodus 10 verse 21. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand toward the sky that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even a darkness which may be felt so that so that, so Moses stretched out his hand toward the sky and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt for three days. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days. But all the sons of Israel had light in their dwellings. Now then, the children of God that are the 144,000. They will be raptured in the three days of darkness according to the letters on the videos that I have 
sent forth to you already, you need to go back and listen to those videos. The 144,000 along with the babies and the innocent little children will be raptured in secret. It will, I believe strongly, it will not be a rapture seen by man because they're going to be in the midst of three days of darkness. Please listen to me, hear me out. You need to be busy letting your family and your friends know you're going in the rapture if you're part of the 144,000 and that the little children will be raptured with them, but also the church will be raptured a few days later. I believe the war will start where it's talking about the last plague, which I believe will be the day after the three days of darkness up until September the 9th, which we all know 9-11 was made years and years ago on 9-11, okay? So again, they didn't see one another, but the chill, it says in verse 23, they did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days, but all the sons of Israel had light in their dwellings. If you have lost thought of the videos that I made before this that talked about um, the rapture, I'm telling you, you need to go back and listen to them. Now then, I'm going to do another quick video. I'm trying to make these videos as short as possible so they'll upload quickly so I can get the word out. And then I'm letting the Lord deal with my heart. But the Lord God sent forth this last plague. I believe this last plague was in the midst of the three days of darkness. And the firstborn were killed and the firstborn animals the firstborn humans and the firstborn animals were all killed during the three days of darkness by a holy god as a judgment upon egypt and the land of egypt and pharaoh's people pharaoh's kingdom okay so come back to the next video and let me show you what the lord did in my heart in regards to the next few verses i love you and peace out for now share these videos wake up your sons and daughters your family your friends your moms your dads any family members that you think are not really that close to the lord and their bibles are on the shelves and they're kind of dusty and they don't pray as much as they should and they're not going to church as much as they should they're not prophetic uh, they're just uh, talking with God here and there every now and then. I don't know if they're going to go. You don't know if they're going to go. But God knows who's going and who's not going. So, therefore, if you feel very strongly that you're going, you need to make sure you tell your family and friends that you'll be leaving any day now. And they may ask where, and then you tell them the truth. It is your obligation to tell your family and friends you're going. So they don't believe these lie bullcraps that the government and you know who of darkness is going to spread and then the rise of those are going to be upon the earth and they're going to deceive many. The letters I just gave to you in the other videos are proof of that that God the Father said, send forth and sound the alarm. Send forth the warnings. I don't want my son and daughters, especially my remnant bride, left behind. Because they're listening to deceiving liars of darkness. God doesn't want you to take the scissors and cut apart his word and start saying, I don't believe that God was about sacrifices. Well, you need to look at the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. He was the ultimate sacrifice. So you better start rethinking about all those sacrifices. I'm here to help save you that you won't be left behind. Do not listen to the deceivers. But he said in that letter, in these last few videos, before these few videos, that there would be a remnant left behind because they believed not that they were going to go in the rapture. And I'm concerned for you, whether it is the 144,000 or the church rapture, I don't want you to be left behind. Wake up. This is sounding the alarm, and I pray you listen. Now then, 
If you're not saved, I ask that very quickly and firmly, you mean business with the Lord. You don't play no more games. Salvation is not a game. You either mean business with God or you don't care and you go on about living your life daily. Well, let me put the fear of God in you. You may just well be left behind because you didn't take your salvation seriously. Now then, I will be making another video, but the videos before this talk about how uh, you can make your salvation real and that you can know that you know that you know you're saved, but you need to ask Jesus into your heart. You need to believe he, was, he hung on the cross. You need to turn from all your sins, including being lazy and not reading your Bible, not having fellowship with brothers and sisters in Christ, not having a pocket pastor if you work on the weekends and you can't go to church. You need to be serious about your salvation and get prophetic and listen to prophetic videos. Get fired up and get ready with a joyous ready that you're going in the rapture. Stay repentant. Turn from your sins. That's the only way the salvation is going to be true in your heart. I love you, brothers and sisters. i got to let you go. I'm going to try to do one more video before my 15-minute break ends. Stay strong in the Lord and know that He loves you and that He will forgive you as quick as you can snap your fingers. Jesus' blood on that cross is atomic. It's not weak. It's not frail. It can obliterate your sins if you will repent and you mean business, and you mean that you're going to flip the way of your life and turn from your sins. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord.